Hello and welcome to Neverwinter Winter Nights and this will be part 20. In the last part we uh, became the owner of the board laid bear which will generate us a certain amount of gold. Not an awful lot but you can't moan about uh, getting money for nothing. And you might even get your chicks for free. But um, let's um, get let's see if we can get this stuff done. We need to get done in this area, which is basically um, Nayata from uh, the city core wanted us to go and have a look at the zoo thing. And there's an issue with uh, Meldon and the sorcerer. So um, let's go and deal with those things if I can actually work my way around. Because, I mean, complicated is complicated. I should have gone the other way around. I'm not so very clever. Of course, there's also the Hallowith Never thing. Um, I don't know if I'm able to, to do so, but I would really like to have um, leveled up before doing that. Because if I'm not mistaken, that is incredibly difficult. Um, And if I'm not mistaken, you will quickly find out why it is incredibly difficult. Hmm. Unnamed building. Have I been in there? But well, it doesn't appear to be the case. Let's see. Just curious. Hmm. A nobleman's place thing, apparently. Oh. I might be where I'm not supposed to be. This grunted woman. I greet you. Who is this? Has the first city fallen apart? Uh, I was the city guard, I don't mean any harm. I suppose you can be trusted. A woman on her own these dangerous times has to be cautious, you understand. What is it you wanted then, sir? Uh, do you know anything interesting going on in the Black Lake? We know what we're trying to keep it ourselves, but anything in particular you can think of? Well, there's a business with Meldon, and talking about it is never a good idea. Come now, time we won't do you any harm. Won't do any harm, even. I suppose there's no way for the wizard to know, is there? Well, word is that Meldon recently acquired a young woman for his amusement. He won't let her out, and the rumors says that she's rather strange. Perhaps it's not quite human. The gods only know what he wants, what he wants for her. Rather assorted a business, uh, no, <laughs> resorted. At any rate, if you want to see for yourself, man, don't say it. Well, you won't say it. Goodbye. I'm sure you know the way out. Uh, yes, I do. Um, that was actually quite inf uh, interesting information, which I can't remember what I've gathered before. Hmm. Anything to loot? Uh, well, let's uh, forget the lawful goodness, shall we, for a second. That's trap. Of course it is trap. Let us quick save in case it's a deadly trap. Uh, succeeded. So, this will likely be edited out. So we finally busted that chest open. Oh, best way. Weighs 40 pounds. It's for us money and we can not reduce the weight because that bag is full, isn't it? Oh, let's see. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I mean, it weighs 40 pounds. I'm fairly sure that we've got something in here that's not weighing 40 pounds. Uh, 20, Diamonds, Scimitar is about 8, 4, okay, uh, what is the shield, 6, so that's 10, because I, I, I can do basic math, and 80% um, of 40 is significantly lighter, um, or less weight, even than 80% uh, of 10, so, should be fine, can still fit, the scimitar and I didn't like to realize you can ah number skull that's me that's my middle name my my parents didn't like me by the way they gave me a, a very interesting middle name but before we did some chest passing hmm is that a is that where we came in yes it is that's bound to be an exit I assume Anyway, the information we were given that uh, uh, Meldonen has acquired a, uh, a woman which is not quite human. 
Hmm. Didn't we have an issue with a missing pixie, which is a sort of humanoid, not quite human, but still a woman kind of thing? Hmm. Well, I wonder if those two are related. Most likely not. Probably just a coincidence. But anyway, let's go in and say hi to the, um, the zookeeper. Montgomery sure starts with us and bitch you welcome to his animal hold. Will those beasts for only one gold? Are these beasts even? There you go. Have a gold. Have a heart. I'll take yours. I mean, what? I didn't say that out loud. Keep your manners while here, your gold by your look, and that's it. Okay. Um, there's some um, visitors here because, of course, it is a zoo. I mean, um, wouldn't be much use if it didn't have visitors. William. Yes. Do Get lost. Can you see? I'm spending a day with the family. Stare right in, into its eyes, boys. Show no fear. Um, you are you are feeling brave in front of a trapped animal. Hi. Don't like it here, the animals seem sad. And of course the boy, because the boy is a boy, he is very, very enamored by the whole thing. Hi there. We sort of opened the cages and we cut the animals out for meat and stuff. Um, yeah, I'm sure if you open those cages, those animals were going to show you who was the boss. Anyway, you can actually speak to them. Because of course, this animal looks up slowly, unsure if you intend, you sense fear. Wait here, wait here until I use Nyata's skull on the tree outside. The animal nods, hoping he will come back soon. You sense worry. Don't worry. Um, they are going to be entirely happy about us freeing these animals, aren't they? Welcome to you. So I, I wish we didn't have to come here so often, but since the play, William hasn't been able to take the boys hunting. Not that I mind so much blood. Uh... I'm not moved to talk. What do you know of this place? No, we're here too often. All other days, seeing blah 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 blah. Are you acquainted with him? That is Montgomery. No, I don't really care to. I am tolerant of William's rough edges. Uh, who are you? This is my husband, it's not a jesting world. Uh, if you don't like this place, why do you permit it to continue? Not sure what you think I, who you think I am, but I don't have that kind of influence. Mm. I will see this place shut down. Will you now? I won't be particularly sad to see it go. I won't get involved, however, I have enough to worry about as it is. Hmm. Yeah. And uh, our Lord Alton. Hello there. A fine collection reminds me of my days. Uh, oh, mm -hmm. last of things. Yeah. Um, bye bye. So, how do you. Um, um, show these guys that you don't really particularly care about um, any restriction set? You go to the nearest closed door and then you go through it. And everyone with a bit of sense, they get to leave the building. Because they sense that uh, you going through a previously locked door is probably going to cause some issues. So, let us go in and make sure that uh, ah, these uh, helpers that. are um, not providing much of a help anymore. These are somewhat tougher. Um, noble guy. Come on, Dino, you can take him. I actually got quite a bit of health. What is that? Five experience for that. Okay. Fair enough. Apparently, I'm badly wounded. Uh, let's change that, shall we? Apparently, I'm not badly, badly wounded anymore. Potion of Bless. Hurry. Gold piece. Is that all he pays the guards? Hmm. Blindness. Deafness. Removal. Never mind that. The darkness. Bound to be one of them. That's a lock, isn't it? Oh, gold piece. Again. What about here? 
eight gold pieces. Well, he must have been a favorite. Light wounds. Hmm. Vendor trash. Box skin. No eagle splendor. Same color. Almost same color. And seven gold pieces. Hooray! Nothing here that's locked. I'm surprised. Hmm. Yeah, well, we got rid of one guard room. Copper necklace. Hmm. Oh well. You didn't see me. You're not so. Right, are you? I'm pretty sure we could go back to the front and wipe uh, that guard as well. But... Come on. Well, let's have a quick look out soon. We've been been in bashing on some of the guards, so let's see if we can get rid of the others. There was a guard out here, wasn't there? Oh, is that the guy we just flattened, possibly? No one here? Oh, what a shame. Oh well, I suppose. That's okay. Did it? Did it? Did it? I'm sorry for the, uh, the scenic boat. When you are oh, desperate to try and get experience, and every single experience point counts. We are now <clears throat> getting slightly closer, uh, as I said, concerning the Halloweth and Never part in this area. I would definitely like to get another level. Another guard room, I assume. Noble guards. I'm surrounded, but at least I'm not fighting my cleric. Getting a whopping total of five experience each. What, well, 18? You cannot win! You critically hit me! How dare you, you bastard! I suppose that is the price I pay for the higher difficulty, which is not. Necessary, that much higher. It's uh, I mentioned it in an earlier episode by um, running with the hardcore dungeon dragons and wolves. At most, the worst thing that happens is that you end up reloading more. Um, it doesn't make an awful lot of difference, and it, it is. I did it to compensate for the fact that I started with a higher level character because of, as I mentioned, I had uh, started doing recording, but realized that I had recorded for two hours without actually um, recording a word set, which is probably the benefit for certain, certain people, but uh, instead of throwing the character away, I decided, you know what, let's export the character and start the game over, because once you've uh, gone through the prelude, you'll be lost, and anyway, so it wouldn't be a huge difference. And to compensate for that, I decided to go for the hardcore dungeon the dragon rules, which means that the, the player character can be critically hit. You can't normally be critically hit when you're playing on normal difficulty. That is the compensation for being up against several enemies at the same time. I should probably have been through that door. There's probably a key for that door, but you know what? I got my own key. I got the universal key called my foot. Abathy! If there happens to be a... Actually, you know what, if there happens to be a key, it will likely be used, and I will not have to carry it around, so I should probably go look to see if there's a key. Oh, door to the tree. Hmm. Quick save! Victory will be ours! Okie dokie, there's a hunter. She's a better shot than his hunters. That's good, isn't it? Uh, don't keep moving backwards. You don't want her to get into melee. Thank you. That'd be nice. I, I don't get it. You are still in combat and it keeps cancelling player blows. Fears along the arm of the law, I think it's called. Come on. 
Well, for reaching. Can you go in and hit them in the face, please? And reactivate the fire flows. Are we good? They are clever enough to switch to melee weapons because, of course, if they are firing uh, ranged weapons in melee, they will provoke attackers of, attacks of opportunity every single time. So, a bolt, a normal bolt. We don't care about a normal bolt. Desk, which is locked. Surprise. We shall pass it. It shouldn't be uh, overly damaged, damage resistant even. And by the way, concerning all these chests that you have to pass and things like that. I mean, obviously, if you play a rogue, you play with a rogue henchman, you can just pick them. Oh, and if you play a uh, offensive caster, you can just fireball a room, and you will not blow up the uh, items inside. Um, but you will still break the chest, most likely. Uh, playing a sorcerer in this game can definitely be fun, but... We've all seen powerful casters. I mean, they are cool and they're fun and all that, but... There's nothing special about it. I, I, I think they are cool to play and it can be fun to play them, but I think yeah. it's the fact that you have, have this yeah. guy who's performing feats with his fists and feet, which are usually only accredited to uh, heavily armored, heavily armed individuals, is far more impressive. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking things, and I probably checked those bolts already. Uh, uh, sorry. Yeah, I mean they are using ranged weapons, so the fact that they are dropping bolts seems perfectly sensible. Hmm. Let's see. If I'm not mistaken, this is going to Montgomery sure so sure shot. He is not her. Oh, two hundred sword. Ooh, what a surprise! If he quits me, I'm likely to die. So don't quit me. This is what I was referring to in an earlier episode, the yeah. fact that uh, the game has this uh, badly uh, or bad habit of um, all enemies you're fighting, they end up having yeah. very, very powerful weapons, meaning that of course yeah. they can do some insane damage to you. Come on, knock him down. Oh, just knock him out instead, I don't care. Yeah, 134 experience for that. We have not effect now effectively shot down the zoo because the owner of the zoo is gone. Adamantine and a longbow plus one. Okay. If one piece of adamantine is a crafting component, there's a good chance a second piece would be as well. Just had to do a timing check there, so. There's uh, one of the powerful chests, and there's a big red chest, and there's another powerful chest. So, <clears throat> I know it's just quick save, but you know, I would rather quick save one time too many than not enough. What I'm going to do instead of uh, bashing these chests and showing I'm running over to the other one, I'm just going to be. This one's bound to be trapped. No, it isn't. Another bolt. There wouldn't be a, another sash of shimmering. Of course it is. Well, it's money in the bank. But instead of uh, bashing one chest, showcasing and bashing another, of running over the other one to bash it, I'm just going to bash both chests and come back to you once that is done. Because it takes about a minute to hit the chest 30 times in order to break them. So you're yeah, not going to waste your time showcasing that. That's it for you! Take that! So, just bashed a hand axe. It's money. I try not to carry around too much uh, crap, but money. Might come across an amazing item. How much does that weigh? Five pound? Hmm. There's a boost. Whatever, we got what we needed from here. So let us head outside. I was hoping for something else, but I suppose we can't have it all. Hmm. We can run outside and prepare that skull thing, which we probably should, don't we? 
Ta-da! This way. Because of course it is a, a 2D thing, so I mean it's only appropriate that uh, it's connected to trees. Used to transport while plants grow to transform the tree into a portal through which the animals in the zoo can escape and release. It is hereby an escape portal for the animals, but not for us. No, 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 no. We are not uh, qualified for such a thing. Noble Guard. Noble Punchback, you mean? On season melee range, isn't she? Like that? Could, could you please don't do not disable flurry of blows all the time, please? Come on. Anything else in here? Oh, there's another big chest. Hmm. I wasn't referring to the. Never mind. I was about to be rude. I, I like being rude. Being rude is fun because it's. Yeah. Probably gets old after a while, to be honest. But whatever. We have some crates and um, the red chest. I, I call them red, they're actually not necessarily red, they are brown, but they are big chests. And when they are trapped, they glow bright red. Most of them are. My trap detection skill is very minimal, but my elven friend over here. You know what? Let's play it safe, right? Because uh, it is indeed trapped. And uh, as you saw, I uh, failed the save intro because of a roll of one. And uh, 53 fire damage. This is why I quick save in front of all traps. I was about to say in front of all chests, or trap chests specifically, but I mean, seriously. Oh. Sorry. Oops. Let's figure the trap. It's locked. Can I actually pass this one? Yeah, I can. Of course I can, I forgot. It is... Uh, sonic damage, which will bypass the normal damage restrictions. What do we get for that? Some shurikens, they are many times. This is good. Mm, cool. Well, I don't think I'm going to fight that many good enemies, but uh, you never know, I suppose. I mean, but they are vendor trash, if nothing else. Next door. Look up behind the door number two. Master of the pens. <laughs> Hello, don't mind me. Can you uh, not miss him? No escape! I'll see you dead! Could I to be bad for business this? Stop moving around so I can actually target you, you dum dum. Thank you. It succeeded, what a surprise. Come on. No escape! I'll see you dead! Thank you. A gold piece, hooray! Some chests and a moral everything, whatever they are called. I do not know what they are called. They are called words. Or gold pieces, hooray for that. Obviously that lever is going to open all the cages. Obviously that is locked, we had never guessed. Amethyst and cure critical wounds. You know what, let's uh, spend some potions here. I was about to say, use some potions. Let's just use two, shall we? He's at four health now, because apparently that door does not contain a key of some sort, so uh, we will have to open it the hard way. Which we will. Uh, it's just bashing it. 
and then we'll feed the animals and finish this episode. <laughs> Attack a normal door. Okay. Shouldn't have that many hit points, and it didn't. Some crates. They could also be locked, actually. Hmm. If you're serious, I don't mind that. Eight gold pieces, come on. Come on. Thank you. Hmm. And another glittering necklace. I think I called it glimmering. It is glittering. There's a difference between the two. Hmm. I suppose. Uh, but a bit, a bit, a bit, a bit, depends on there, so we have to. This can be a bit of. Nah, it's, nah, it's not annoying. I don't know. If I've probably gone the other way, that would have been smart, but you know, smart is not my. Being smart is not my strength. Um, of course. You know. I'm just going to cut this out, running back. And here we are, this is where it's supposed to be. Hooray! You know what, if you were as clever as me, you should really be ashamed. Yeah. Yeah, that was a bit dumb. Never mind. Wolfie, come on. Run to the your disciples and use this freedom. Mine's an experience gained. Come on, come on. Please. Tell the same to the lion. Don't block the door. You sense great joy, by the way. And the bear. Come on. Of course, we have to make sure that I took on true, which is a bit meh. But it's a minor thing. Come on. Come on, go through the blaster door, will you? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, little bear. Come on, little daddy. Maybe. Ta da! Seven little bottle, and you'll be free. Seven little bottle, and you'll be free. Ta da! And the portal disappears. A very, very subtle way of telling you that you cannot, you cannot make use of that option. So we have uh, liberated the animals. We have um, disposed of a hunter. I still think this is another ambiguous quest because um, has it technically done anything wrong? I mean, what is considered to be... I'm not going to go into a philosophical discussion about right and wrong, because everyone seems to have grey zones and grey areas, but... Uh, I suppose uh, we should be heading outside the zoo. The zoo. Okay, we are now outside the zoo. No one's contesting, challenging, whatever. But... That is enough for one episode, and when we come back, we are going to uh, take the back door into Maldonan's estate. Because, of course, we've got uh, Midi the Cleaner's key, so we can get into his estate from his side entrance. Because they used to have a romantic relationship. No, it's not wink wink, say no more. Anyway, thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye bye.